What up guys and welcome back. So this is me again bringing you another video from here in Shanghai. I am in the Zika store. Zika is a Chinese electric car brand that is making waves on the Chinese market and some international markets as well. It's been around for about three and a half years and they are making amazing cars. They have a very new model which is a Zika 007 and I'm here to bring you a deep detailed walk around of this new exciting vehicle. So. Let's go take a look. So let us start here from the front. You have the front view, very, very nice sort of dotted lights peeking through these, this dotted pattern makes it really, really cool. And there you have it, Zeker. So unlike their 001, the 007 has this logo right on the edge of the bonnet. And you have a camera right there to read the road. And the daytime running lights are really, really cool. There's a light bar below and on the top you have some a dotted pattern. And down here, you seem to have some sort of a radar um, system to read the road. And coming on to the side, it comes with some 20 inch rims that look really, really cool with some really thick and wide calipers in there. And you got a camera on this side, a camera there, and a, another camera here. And you have another radar up there. So it's gonna give you all this essential safety and speed detection and collision and all those good things. And you have this window, this rear view mirror that is kind of interesting. It is not inside, it's almost flush with the surface of the the edge of the whole housing of the mirror which is really cool and here i'm not sure what this is i'm sure you can get in the car with some sort of a card or your phone or something like that but let me first take you around to take a look at the outside of the vehicle before we step in and see what it has so really cool design i'm kind of liking it and you have your charging here you press to open and you have your two charging ports for slow and fast charging to close it you just press this and it goes back to its place and you have this really nice sort of kind of like nice plastic material but kind of looks like aluminum running from the front to the back and on this side you have the rear brake light showing on the rear kind of like a daytime running light and I believe down here doubles as brake lights and maybe turn signals as well. And you have your parking sensors, a camera here, another camera here. And this really nice rear pattern on the, on the, on the boots door it looks really, really nice. And it's an electric car, so you don't see any pipes here. Let's just open up the boots and see how much space is given you press a button there your boot opens and it's not as the boot space is not as big as that of the uh, 001 that is parked right there the white one over there but overall for smaller travels you have i would say enough space you bend a little more because it's a bit lower than the 001 but underneath here you have more storage so that's really really cool for your charging and any other things you want to carry and on this side you have a pocket with a 12 volt socket hiding in there and the boot opens quite wide so even if you're tall you're not going to hit your head and it has this really nice lining as well so carpet almost i would say so when you have things in there they're not going to be rattling about against metal press this to close that and it's relatively fast let's move on to the right side of the vehicle so if you're looking on the right this is what you're seeing really really sleek looking car and uh, that takes us to the end of our journey for the outside now let's step inside real quick so to open Unlike most cars that have the opening on the door, this one is on the side, just a button. You press that, 
and it opens as well for you and then you can open it further if you want let's take a look at the door so some nice napa leather here some nice perforated alcantara really premium and soft door handles and hand rests unfortunately there's no lining with felt in these doors so but it's it's really good plastic it's not rattly plastic so that's really really good and these speakers unlike in the 001 these ones are from Zika so I think this is Zika's own indoor speaker and to step in you have all these controls on the chair even for the passenger seat you have Alcantara already beginning from here premium materials all around just step in so you press that the same button that opens the door is the same button that closes it if you don't really don't want to use your hands to do that and this is the button for closing and opening your window very soft and relatively fast to close and open the windows and you have a bag all around the car sort of like a microphone or a speaker I'm not too sure and you have this grab handle made of really nice squishy material but really tough and this is the dash design the glove box I believe is opened in the system on the on the screen but you have these lighting system going on all around the car which is really cool which you it keeps changing color if i don't know if it shows on the camera and you have your air vents you have some really nice soft material here speaker grill from zika zika sound same as in the 001 some vanity mirror for your makeup and to see how you're looking on the morning you decide to get in your car to go out two charging pads here fast charging parts and these outlets here to cool it whilst it's charging and AMOLED screen very very crisp really really nice with all your controls you got your uh, camera view and what's interesting with four fingers you can actually move the screen pan the screen to the passenger or to the driver so if I do that with four fingers then you can see it tilts towards me and if I do that it goes back into position so that's really really cool and it also goes to the driver as well how amazing is that so four fingers brush on the screen wow that's amazing so you have your two charging pads no more fighting for charging with the passenger and you have this really nice pocket here that door here that opens to reveal the cups so overall if you compare this to the double O one it kind of seems like this one is made like a kind of like a sport version and you open here not as elegant as the double O one because of course the more expensive one and you have a relatively deep wide uh, pocket here and you have USB-C 60 watts 27 watts so lots of options to charge your accessories here you got your mirror you got your has that uh, light and you also got press or just touch to turn on your interior lighting very very fast oh you can have a white and you can have a neon or a yellow one as well so that's really cool I'm just close this up and press this to open so again to open to get into the driver's seat you press and it opens and you can open it further makes it a lot easier and as usual of course controls for the driver and this is the driver's view so you got a relatively small steering but which is not completely round is flattened on both the top and the bottom but looks really really nice and there's some kind of like a minimalistic Tesla vibe here but it works and you have these quick buttons here so this one will give you 360 view very very quick to respond and this to open the boot and other functions as well so I like it it's really really nice so this is the view from the driver and you get another screen here which is not as 
which is way bigger than what you have on like the, the VW IDs. It gives you a lot more information, uh, gear information, uh, information about the car and some other ones as well. And you have, I don't know if you can see, but if you look somewhere here, the, um, this one is actually turned on. So you have um, the HUD heads up display and it gives you all the information and you can actually see cars on, on your side and where the speed cameras are and all that. I'm not sure if it's showing properly on the camera, but yeah, maybe if I zoom in, you can see quite a bit of information. So that's that's interesting to, to see. And uh, yeah, the driver has a vanity mirror as well. So that's really, really cool. So yeah, this one is kind of minimalistic, but one, one thing I like is they give you Alcantara all around the car. So he's gonna, sound dead in and insulate the car really really well from the sound outside i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a silent car let's see if like the 001 if the uh, brake pedal shut the doors yeah it does so with the brake pedal you can shut the door and the car is activated and you can start moving so you don't have to do one two three things to get a car moving just press the brake button and that's it and to open again i just press and i can get out but before i get out let's listen to the sound the sound in this car Sounds really, really good with some really nice bass in there. And let's jump in back real quick. So same thing, press the button and it opens. Okay, so we open it up and the same quality that was in the front is going on in the back as well. So it doesn't matter where you sit in, you're gonna have similar comfort. And if you look here, there's a button here for opening there kind of like a lever for opening a door if it fails so if it fails you put your hand in there you pull it up and the door opens as it should be in electric cars so as we step in you can see your hooks here for jackets and things like that and you have Alcantara lining inside and this screen goes it's kind of like a split sort of screen I believe it's a full screen but they have this bar here maybe for added rigidity and safety but yeah you got light in here and um you got some microphone inlets and you have some door pockets the overall seat design this is soft and this part going down is kind of like some sort of plasticky material and you have type c charging ports two of them in the back you have your air vents and overall this one looks relatively a bit smaller. The interior looks a little smaller than that of the 001. But yeah, it works as well. As long as you're not using it for large, carrying large people, it works. And you have the panoramic roof running from the boot all the way to the front of the car. How cool is that? so yeah this is the leg space i have so my legs actually my feet actually fit under the front seat i believe if it's lowered then you're not going to have that luxury but even with that at 183 centimeters tall i'm not my legs are not hanging they're actually quite comfortable and i think i can go on a long journey sitting in this position so yeah that is the interior of the 007 newly released by zika motos here in china and like I always say, the competition is very fierce now. And I kind of feel like the legacy brands are lagging behind when it comes to uh, EV cars. Uh, the Chinese seem to have taken a, a big lead in the EV market. The functions that legacy brands ask you to pay for, these brands give you everything for the standard price. And sometimes the difference is just the size of the vehicle. With different models or different uh, models in the same series so i think um, many brands have a lot of catching up to do but 
yeah, if you have a chance to take to see the Zika or you are interested, you can take a look. I'm just bringing in a walk around video of the vehicles of Zika. So yeah, thank you so much for watching from here in Shanghai. I'm truly grateful that you stuck around till the end of this video. If you're new to my channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so we can grow this channel together. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Till I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe always, and always drive safe. Peace, and I'm out.